Hello friend, do you remember what organisms without backbones are called? They are called invertebrates, and just like all living organisms, they need to produce new individuals in order to ensure continuity of life. So, let's learn how some lower organisms produce new individuals from a single parent. Now, animal-like protists like amoeba and paramecium reproduce by binary fission. This involves a parent amoeba or paramecium dividing or splitting to produce two identical daughter cells. Rhizopus and amoeba can sporulate, that is, they can produce spores which can become offspring. Organisms like Spirogera and some sponges can reproduce through fragmentation. Long filaments of Spirogera can break off into shorter fragments that can grow to become new filaments. Also, Hydra and yeast cells undergo budding to produce new identical individuals. Now, budding occurs when a parent organism forms an outgrowth called a bud, which then grows into a new organism that later separates from the parent organism. Then, Plasmodium responsible for malaria reproduces via multiple fission, also known as schizogony. Lastly, some invertebrates like nematodes, aphids, meats, and honeybees can do something amazing. They can produce offspring from unfertilized egg cells in a process called parthenogenesis. Now that we've explored how some invertebrates reproduce asexually, we'll get to see those that reproduce sexually very soon. Learning biology is fun, right? I'll see you in the next lesson, friend. Bye!